So here, in this video, let us find four different solutions for the given linear equations. Let us consider x plus 2y equals 6. So just by inspection or in other words, just by looking at it. Okay, let us substitute x as 2. So all we need to do is substitute y also as 2. So that we get 2 plus 2 into 2. Which is nothing but 2 plus 4 equals to 6. So therefore this is equal to RHS as well. So we can say that 2 comma 2 is one of the first solutions uh, for the equation x plus 2y equals 6. So this is the first one. Let us see the second one. Let us, the easiest way to find solutions for linear equation in two variables is to try substituting one of the variables by 0. So let us try now. If we substitute x as 0, we simply have 2y equals to 6. So now we need to substitute 3 in the left hand side in order to get 6. Therefore, we can write another solution for x plus 2y equals 6 would be 0 comma 3. Now that we are done substituting x as 0, let us try substituting y as 0. So if we substitute y as 0, then we have straight away x equals 6. So we can write 6 comma 0 as one of the many solutions. Let us try another one y as 1. So that time we get x plus 2 equals 6. So now x equals 4. So 4 comma 1 can be another solution for x plus 2y equals 6. So these are the four different solutions. Very few of the many solutions that we can get for a linear equation and it is four of them in here. Let us quickly consider another equation say 4x plus 3y equals 12. Now let us go by the usual trick. Let us straight away substitute one of the variables as 0 and let's see what happens. So if we substitute x as 0 we have 3y equals to 12 and we can clearly see that y should be equal to 4. So we have the first solution as 0 comma 4. So easy. Let us see the second one. So now that we've substituted x as 0, let us now substitute y as 0. So we have 4x plus 0 equals 12, which is nothing but x is 3. So here we have another one. So we have 3 comma 0. Now, let us substitute x as 1. So we get 4 plus 3y equals 12. And 3y is 12 minus 4. And 3y equals 8. Now, 3 is not a factor of 8. So we do not have a value for y here. Although we have, we are looking for something like a whole number, like a simple number. We don't want any decimals and fractions as of now. So let us look at substituting y as 1 and we are not going to get x. So let us substitute y as 4 and we will get why not? Let us try some negative numbers here. Let us substitute y as minus 4. So we have 4x plus 3 into minus 4. So let us write it as 4x minus 12 equals 12. And we have 4x equals minus 12. Going that side becomes plus 12. So 12 plus 12 is 24. And yes, we have a value for x. We have x equals 6. So when y equals minus 4, we have x as 6. So we have another solution here, which is 6 comma minus 4. All right, let us try substituting x as minus 3 then. Just like how we substituted y as minus 4, let's try substituting x as minus 3 and see what happens. So we have here 4 into minus 3 plus 3y equals 12, which gives us 
minus 12 plus 3y equals 12. We have 3y equals minus 12 when it goes to the right hand side, it becomes plus 12. Therefore, 12 plus 12 is 24. And yes, we have y equals 8. So finally, we got a value for y when x is minus 3. So we can write minus 3, comma 8 as another solution. So this is few of the infinite number of solutions for the linear equation 4x plus 3y equals 12.